transition. Anybody ever, did everybody ever ask you that question when you was 12, you went to hell for snuffing Jesus? I was, um, I was sick at um, what was uh, happening in the black community and I felt like what was pushed on us uh, on a religious level um, was before my time, you know, the black church is powerful. It definitely been there through the civil rights and all of that and uh, still powerful to this day. But I was, I didn't see it as a black thing. I didn't see it as, I saw no one's coming to save us. Right. You know, so I just felt like it's me against the world. So I, right. I had a very rebellious spirit back then, like serious. So yeah, but you know, I love Jesus. Jesus. Right, right. <laughs> That's my man. Just in case. That's my man. Nas and I spoke about the nation of Islam's 120 lessons in the rap game. I started realizing that all religions were created to control the masses on this planet. They control the people through fear of God and the devil. Heaven and hell. Dick in my nuts. I'm not into race hating. And I don't rely on religion for my spiritual health. I've got my own relationship with the creator. The only thing I believe in are facts. And the fact is that when we were in Africa living in peace with the universe... We didn't have Bibles or corrupt corporations. We were spiritual people with our own way of life. We didn't need for anything because it was all there for us naturally in infinite abundance. Africa is the cradle of all humanity and civilization. We were advanced in technology, agriculture, architecture, medical procedures, math, science, astronomy, astrology, and health practices long before the Greeks and Romans. Don't believe the lie when they say Caucasians came to Africa and found black people living in destitution as unruly, cannibalistic bush babies and they had to save us from our evil, savage ways, clean us up, civilize us, and transform us into wholesome, upstanding Christians. This is all propaganda created by the Caucasian pirates to conceal their true agenda of the largest land natural resources, knowledge, and population heist in history, not to mention the largest mass genocide. We thrived independently for millions of years before they invaded our lives with their wickedness and lifestyle of the beast. When we were enslaved and shipped to America, the Europeans forced us to follow fairy tale religions so that they can control our minds. They forced their banking system on us to control our lives with money. If we don't agree with their system and refuse to believe in their religions, then we get killed, sent to jail, or locked in a mental institution. I could write an entire book on that subject alone, and I will.